Hey guys, welcome back to another Anime Fighting Simulator video. I know I'm getting a bit up and personal up here, but that's how it's going to be today because I'm going to be showing you exactly how to glitch into the glitchable areas in Dimension 2. Alright, so for the road roller, exactly how to get in, you need to get into this big tire part right there. And to do that, you simply aim. There we go. That's how you get in. And to get out, turn on water running. Now, for the next area is the coffin boat, but this, unfortunately, is a bit too small for any kind of worthwhile glitching to do. The only thing you can manage is simply to stay here and meditate. And the only advantage of that is if you are alone and no one else is above meditating, no one's gonna notice you meditating down here unless they're searching really hard. All right, so next is the Colossal Titan. And luckily for this, we can glitch in. It functions the same way as the Fairy Tale Guild in Dimension 4. I can make a separate video on that later. You wanna get close, aim up high, and sink in. Simple as that. And whew, this is exactly what it looks like in the inside. Interesting, huh? And to get out, water running once again. Boom. All right, next here, we got the Anteku, I guess. All right, see where the text is showing up? I just found this out on the spot. Let me get out of it real quick. Ooh, I'm up on the building. I legit did not know there was a spot, but there is one and it's in these cupboards and all you gotta do is meditate and boom you cannot be seen and if you want to champion on like naruto he will be upside down as well and you cannot be spotted even with your champion on so have fun with that you know all right next is the gravito rock zone all right we're in did you see that? And for this, it's fairly simple, actually. You find the crevice right here, have a decent distance, like you're not too close, but you're not absurdly far. Right there should be fine. Aim up. Oop. There we go, that's the spot you wanna aim for. For these, it's not 100% guarantee unless it's an extremely easy spot. The one spot that worked for me, you know, it worked but sometimes it won't. Sometimes you gotta find new spots, but you know, find your spot. Ichigo's inner world. All right, so to get inside one of these buildings, you gotta do this. Holy crap, what the? All right, so I turned on water running from Ichigo's world and I appeared up here, which means it's right below here. Eh, the more you know. Boom, you wanna shift lock so you're facing towards there and you can punch away with your champion inside so just a quick refresher stand on the end points of here push up aim high go in go to beerus's planet there's actually a few areas you can do here i think most people know this the trees boom easy enough get out water running boom Ooh, okay, that was a good one. And here, we've just found a new meditating spot. Boom, all right. All right, the best hiding spot on Beerus Planet is actually right here. Press your head against the tip of here. Perfectly. Water running. And boom, you're in the most secured place in Beerus Planet. Next is the unbreakable boulder. You could land down find a place and try to glitch in. It has worked for me, but it's very hard. I found more luck by floating. Boom, all right. Yeah, the boulder personally takes me a while, but you kind of want to aim slightly above the ropes. Final places, there's a lot of areas here that you can do it, but I'm gonna show you the most common one and my personal favorite one. Just come here, do this. Oh. Oh. Almost in. Just keep teleporting. Yeah, once you get a part of yourself in, you can get the rest. Uh, you need something, dude? Kind of want to kill him. Alright. Oh, actually, trying to punch him brought me in. 
And yeah, look, this is probably the most well-known spot because I just showed that guy, basically. We got one person and two and myself included. So that's three people inside here already. But the people that are inside, you know, they're usually respectable people most of the time. Now we're moving to the last area of dimension two. So we go into the executor. There's a few spots here. You wanna stand right on this edge, aim pretty up high, push up position, and boom. All right, let's try this side instead. All right, oh, am I in? Damn it. Come on. Oh. All right, cool, I'm in. And I'm gonna get killed. The other area you can teleport in through is the front belly. Oh, see how I'm kinda halfway in with my torso cut off, basically? Yeah, if you want to try that, you can totally get into the belly, but personally, I find it far easier to go from this side or this side, you know, standing at the corner, aiming up, and then boom. Oh, that worked pretty well this time. And now we're going to the infinite Tsukuyomi, which is actually the easiest one to get into by far, because all you gotta do is get to the bottom or not even the bottom, you can just kind of just, as long as your head is pressed against the lower half, turn on water running, and boom, you're in, and you're still within range to gain chakra. Now, I do have sad news though, because the last area for durability in Dimension 2 is Flames of Cremation, Dobby, and <laughs> look, Look how small the range is. It's not like I can go underground or anything. Or like further away. You simply have to just stay in here and do what this guy is doing. There is no possible glitch I could think of. I can't go inside him and that's kind of sus, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna be, uh, that boy sus. And I'm not that boy. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. At the beginning, I was red haired shanks. And at the end, I'm simply reduced to gray matter, cause that's how exhausting it was to go through all those glitches. But it's worthwhile, uh, some of the training places to do that, because some are more discreet, others have diminishing returns, which just means like, even though you do get into it, there's a very high chance you're gonna get killed anyways, just by the nature of it.